Good morning, folks. We've got several items to hit today. The SDO calibration roll is visible on the satellite feeds here, which is the jostling of the images you see happens every couple of weeks. We'll hit weather and top science news as well, but we start with our star. The last 24 hours on the sun was relatively quiet. C-class solar flares. No significant filament eruptions. Solar wind and geomagnetic conditions are quiet as well. We are watching the incoming sunspots for more activity because while there are several active regions on the Earth-facing side, the ones bottom left still incoming over the limb are the biggest and most complex while the others are mostly in decay. There is one large plasma filament out ahead of them that does require monitoring as well, big enough that hopefully it remains stable and does not erupt. We're still monitoring the solar wind here at Earth, by the way, for those potential minor CME impacts. Folks, a major rain event hit Broward County, Florida yesterday. How about 20 inches of rain in just a few hours, which has shut down most of the area, which resulted from a supercell developing and then stalling for several hours over the region. These are hurricane levels of rain, but of course, there was no hurricane. Airports, schools, and several roadways had to shut down entirely. Based on the video statistics, it appears most of you saw this video from a couple days ago. The detail on how the sun and solar storms impact the brain, including cognitive loss, emotional instability, and fear, anxiety, and panic reactions, which should get worse as Earth's magnetic field weakens. Well, we've got two papers here today that hit that subject again. The first on electromagnetic fields impacting circadian rhythm. It should be important to note Human-made EMF can impact this too, but this study mostly focused on the impact of solar events and the changes in Earth's magnetic field. Circadian rhythm impacts several aspects of the biophysical condition and plays a critical role in everything from mindset to blood pressure to the efficiency of the immune system. Another study here hits the direct brain impact of solar storms, the clear identification of direct and cascading changes in brain function during the solar storm impact to Earth's magnetic field. These occur through direct electromagnetic impact and disruption to the ionic chemical processes regulating various functions. Folks, the second issue of Observer Review will come out in a couple days, and for those who sign up before it's released, you will get both this month and last month's issue included. Link is found below the video, and right now, this is one of the best ways to support the observers. We greatly appreciate your support. Lots of other links below the video as well. Subscribe, and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.